Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to manage a large number of Airlink gateways with the AirVantage management service. Managing hundreds and even thousands of gateways can quickly become time consuming if your management tool has not been designed for large deployments. AirVantage has a number of features that make it easy for IT departments to monitor and update any number of deployed gateways in the field. Specifically, filters, labels, and sorting features can be effective tools. Let's start with filters. Every list or table in AirVantage can be filtered. Available filtering criteria depend on which list you are currently viewing. For instance, when viewing systems, the list can be filtered using any attribute of a system, from the name or label to the serial number of the gateway. When viewing the list of operations, we are presented with a different set of relevant filtering criteria, such as the type of operation and operation dates. Back in the system list, the name attribute is the default filter criteria. By entering the name of the system or simply part of its name, I can quickly find the one I'm interested in. I can also apply multiple filters simultaneously. For instance, we can add a filter based on gateway type to further refine our search. Any applied filters are shown graphically above the table. You can remove any applied filter by clicking on the X. Return to the unfiltered list of systems by removing all the filters. In addition to manually filtering lists, all the graphical widgets found on the dashboard act as shortcuts to apply filters. For example, to display only the list of systems currently operating on an LTE network, we can select that slice of the widget. This applies the appropriate filter to our list. We can also use the widget to remove the filter and return to the original list. Any of our dashboard widgets throughout the application work in the same fashion. Labels provide another efficient way to quickly organize and find your systems. Labels are the AirVantage equivalent of tags. These are user-defined words you can apply to your systems to organize them in any way you see fit. For example, you can create labels based on the geographic location of the systems, their intended use, or both. You can also apply several labels to one system if you want to include it in different groups. Labels can be easily edited by clicking on Change Labels. Remove any unwanted labels or select an existing label to add or creating a new one altogether. Apply changes when you're satisfied with your labels. You can then use your labels as filter criteria to organize your list of systems. Lastly, the sortable table columns in AirVantage can also be used to quickly find what you are looking for. These are indicated by arrows in table headers. Click on the arrow to sort the column in the increasing or decreasing order. Try it out on the Last Communication Date column now. It can show you either the systems that have communicated the most recently or those that have not communicated in some time. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for using AirVantage.